Hey, you bored child. You want this? Gen Z, you're just in total to get fun, man. Guys, I'm really getting a joke. <laughs> If you really want this, so follow me step by step. This edit is inspired by Xenos and Zyper. First of all, you need two different clips to edit like this. I put down this clip one by one each other. You need to first pre-compose it. Right click on the first composition and pre-compose it. First we need a null layer and adjust with the composition. First we use scale, and its value is to 150 to 100. Second is the rotation, and its value is plus 16 to 0. And now easy ease the keyframes. Now click the graph option and follow me. We need to motion tile to adjust this black side of layer. Guys, are you need a cookie? So subscribe me to many type of content like this. Use again a null layer. And follow me step by step if you skip this things, so you don't create an edit like Xenos and Zyper. There, I don't use this flow chart because I want to show you how to use the graph. So follow me. Now use a, another null layer. Use scale 100 to 45 or 50 as your wish. And again, rotation value is 0 to 16. And now easy ease the keyframes. Follow me what I do now, so don't skip it. There, I had some mistake, so I will fix it, so watch carefully.
don't miss any part of this edit. Now create an adjustment layer and follow me. I don't do anything on the fourth null layer. Now we use warp effect on the adjustment layer and use arc to fisheye. Now we use the blend keyframe zero to minus 100. And follow my graph. Use turbulence displace to flow like dash. Dash, haha. <laughs> and now use my settings. Now use transform and use skew or skew exist. And follow me how I do that. And now tap the third null object and use position X or Y. First you click P on your keyboard and see the position. And right click on the position bar and use separate dimension and you see the X or Y position. And now use this. Now the last things is exposure and twitch. Use this keyframe on the adjustment layer. Now we start edit to our second composition. Use the motion tile again on this composition. Now again, use the Turbulence Displace.
then use the CC scale wipe and follow my settings. Use another null layer and click SRP on your computer keyboard. When you see the scale or position when you right click on the position bar and use separate dimensions. There I use only the position Y, I don't use the position X. Now follow my settings. Use second null layer, and now follow my settings. Add the third null layer. Copy the previous composition's position, shake and paste it. Add the fourth null layer and copy my settings. If you get this problem on your composition, so go back to the previous composition and recopy it and paste it. I will delete the old translations and copy the previous position and paste in on this null and see the result. There we use the motion blur to all this composition for a good result. So follow me. There I use scale 100 to 60 and follow the graph setting what I use.
There I use the exposure and the amount is this. Now I use the warp and see my settings don't miss any part of this edit, be careful. Edit is complete now. See the result and comment down if you need any type of content like this. So goodbye, Allah Hafez, guys.